What's going on, everybody? Hopefully you're having a good day. Week's getting ready to close out. I got a little four-day weekend coming up here, going up to the Monster on Friday in Indy. Going to take a look around. Uh, we'll get some video footage for sure. If I have to use my cell phone just to make sure I get some clips, I'm going to do it this time. Going to do it. So I'm going to be doing some different videos coming up here. And it's going to be ones where I'm looking for a lot of input from everybody that watches the videos out there. Because I'm looking at a lot of current trends. And I'm not too sure if everybody else is seeing what I'm seeing. I know a good handful of you are because I read the comments I reply back. And I'm really starting to get concerned on different areas out there and aspects of the hobby. I'm not going to call it the market or anything like that. In these videos, I may say that because it's going to be part of uh, the, the, I guess you could say the video, just how I have it done. So this is my little cue cards. This is what I draw up. Nothing big and fancy, man. I'm an old infantry guy. You guys know if you were in the infantry, man, we don't make fancy sketch cards and range cards. We just draw them up real quick. Hey, it's where it is, quick to reference, and we move on. We move on. <laughs> So, today's video, what I want to talk about without trying to get into a lot of the other aspects of this video, which I'm going to cover in later videos, is we're going to predict the National Sports Card Convention videos that are going to be produced both during and after the National. Do you guys think we're going to see a lot of hype videos? Or do you think we're going to see a lot of the blame game videos, we're going to call it, where they just point the finger at everybody but themselves? Because we do know a lot of these YouTubers slash content creators slash influencers, whatever they want to be called out there, have hyped up things beyond everything. The pump and dumps. The, oh, hey, these are the five cards that are trending up. These are the five cards you should sell now. All oh, that stuff, Doran, where you couldn't pick something wrong. Heck, there's even influencers now out there, or content creators, whatever you want to call each other out there, that are putting videos out that are kind of negative, but they're trying to spin it as positives out there. Why weren't you doing these videos 18 months ago to warn people? Large followings. Tens of thousands, some over a hundred thousand, but yet now you're only doing it. All right, let me move on here with some of this stuff. So what I'm talking about with hype videos, it's going to be that they say the market is alive. It's doing well out here despite all the... Um, recession talk, inflation, all that. It's going great out here. The prices are good. People are buying. There's lots of cash flowing. Sales are booming. Deals galore. And they're, they're going to show videos of trade nights, big deals, cash flowing every which way. But here's the funny thing. That goes on every show. <laughs> it just depends on who brings the money and how good the deal is and how rare is that card. Nothing's ever changed. So, what, do you guys think we're going to see those types of videos? Where it's going to hype it up to where some of these guys are going to get one last, what I'm going to call, pump and dump in. To get out what they've already put lots of money into. Heck, some of these dudes even took out loans and bought way high. Um, or are you going to see the blame game? Where they're going to be like, ooh, this is dreaded out here. There's not a lot of with the national like there normally is one they're going to say well it's atlantic city it's a bad venue location we've talked about this back in 2016 i want to say it was at the national in atlantic city it was horrid horrid bad location half the people didn't want to do trade nights they just wanted to gamble drink i mean i still remember putting any vip parties where there were some fights about the brew in there I think it'll look ugly with that there. I can't wait for somebody to post the first video of somebody getting hit into a fight over something out there because that will be quite interesting, I will say. The other thing they'll blame is gas prices are high. You know, I don't know what the national average is now. I think out where I'm at, it's $5 a gallon. I think Joey said it's over 6 in California. They'll blame gas prices, which equals into fuel costs, to high airline tickets... You guys get the point. They'll blame inflation. They'll blame recession. 
I honestly think we're in the very, very beginning stages of recession. But I'll hit that in another video because I want to see what you guys think on that too. They'll say we need to do a better job of getting more people either back into investing <laughs> instead of into the hobby. They'll say something like that. Or we just need to somehow get new blood out there. We need to draw new, fresh people into it to circulate money and all this other stuff out there. But they'll push their finger at everything out there, minus whenever they were doing their videos out there to, you know, tens of thousands of people and pumping and dumping away. I'm just curious, which way do you guys think it's going to go on that? Last thing I want to talk about real quick, since it is about the National, this kind of sidetracks it though. But it's in my notes, promise you. Right down here. Whoop, right there. National sales pitches. We all know a lot of um, people do these videos on YouTube. Get paid sponsorships even though they probably don't even believe in the product or they're getting a big chunk to do the videos plus, you know, X amount percentage when you sign up and do this and that. Who do you think is going to be the new ads out there? Who do you think that these businesses that are set up at the National are going to target? I don't want to know who you think is going to be the people producing the videos, but who are going to be those companies looking to get content creators, um, I guess you'd call them, or YouTubers, to pitch their products for them and get paid for doing it. I'm sure a lot of them are going to be doing that coming up here because it's going to get rough out there. And again, I'm going to hit that in some other videos coming up. But I figure this would be a fun, different way of doing some videos. I like to see what everybody has to say. I always tell everybody, uh, please read through the comments onto there. Interact with each other because it's learning. I can't tell you how many times I sit there and think of stuff. And it's just my mentality of doing it for many, many years. And then I start looking at comments. I'm like, huh. There's some people out there seeing the same thing I'm doing. Or I'll read a comment and I'm like, whoa. I didn't really think about that out there. And it's just more about how we spend our precious money. Because, you know, some of us work 40, 60 hours a week. You know, you got family and everything else. You got a few bucks left over. And you want to buy, you know, a box of cards or whatever. But, you know, it, it's us there that's been keeping the hobby alive through all the downtimes they've had through the 90s heck, through part of the 2000s we had it for a while when upper deck left panini started remember panini prison boxes are like 30 bucks a box they might have dipped down 25 i can't recall i think they were like 29.95 <laughs> no joke but all right guys appreciate you always watching the videos out there look forward to reading the comments on this and i will catch you guys next video